Our first question will come from RJ Abadia in the bootleg. So, Lavani, I want you to, if you can, take us through that final goal line, semi goal line stand where there was a turnover. Davis made the tackle, and suddenly you guys are at your own 10 yard line. Just play by play, what stood out to you and, and what it took to, to push the Huskies back the way you did? Um, yeah, that was, uh, you know, we're all just, we're all on the sideline. Um, talking through coach had some plays up on the whiteboard and then uh, we we just turn around and see them running back the other way so we got our helmets on and we just know we need to stop and uh, I think that that series was planned for Gabe and Kurt to be in um, inside but they just like we talked about Gabe's our, one of our best pass rushers and with Jay Fox um, he went down a little before that, so the so we need to gave it all. So I went back in with Kurt and uh, Kurt talked to the whole defense before and just saying we need to stop. You know we need to stop. And uh, our D line had some good pass rushes, uh, get offs that caused some penalties that that bailed us out of that first play. And then and then yeah, we just had to take advantage of those yards that that from those penalties and just just execute our defense. Yeah, and. Yeah, we ended up getting that done. And I'm just curious, based on the film, what were kind of the big talking points from Coach Anderson in terms of what he liked from you guys on Saturday and stuff that you still kind of want to zero in on? Um, yeah, let's see. I guess, I guess things that um, that we liked were Washington, you know, with their they want to run the ball for sure and always establish their run game. And, um, you know, we did a good job in that, in that first half, holding them to under hundred yards. Um, I'm not sure exactly how much, but just, that was a, that was a big thing that we were emphasizing, um, since, since after Oregon, really just getting off the field on third down and, um, making sure that we, that first down and second down, are good down, we, we play good. So th those third downs are more manageable for us, makes it easier for us to get off. And so I think just, um, yeah, just stopping the run, being more physical up front and and things like that are, are uh, things we did well. Um, what else did you say, things that we could, we could have improved on? Yeah. Uh, the, I guess the main thing for me that stands out is uh, we didn't have any turnovers and so, um, just taking the ball away, um, someone making a play, so punching it out, interception, anything. Um, yeah, that's it. Hurts that we didn't have have any of those, but you know, got to just got to refocus and, and yeah, make that more of an emphasis coming into this week. Awesome, thank you. The next question is from Jacob Rayburn in the Cardinal Sports Report. Hey, Lavani, uh, congrats. Thank you. Uh, what have you seen from Oregon State so far that impresses you about their offense? Um, Oregon State, I feel like they're, they, just like Washington, um, they run the ball really well, if not better than them. Um, I think their linemen are fast, uh, climbing to the second level. Uh, they have that, that big physical back. Um, I think he can he can run really well. So it'll you know nothing nothing terribly new though. Just the same. Gotta yeah, gotta stop the run and gotta be physical up front. So but yeah, I guess that's one thing that stands out. And I know this is only the second week of you guys doing this, but you know you went up to Seattle early, and now you're already in Corvallis. Um, What's that been like for you and, and the guys of, um, you know, kind of setting up in these different towns and it's, and it's road games kind of with air quotes this year, right? Because there's no fans, but you get to be in the town for like pretty much most of a week. Do you, do you notice that making you guys feel more comfortable? Any effect either way? Um, I mean, I know that it has been a little hard on um, a lot of guys, which which is, is normal. I mean, we're away from, it's not familiar. I know for myself, like just being away from my wife for this long, uh, we haven't, we haven't, we've only been married like 
just almost six months. So don't get that wrong, Lavani. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, yeah, being away from her and um, yeah, it's been there, there's definitely challenges, but um, you know, we talk as a team every day. We always have that goal in mind, and we all know why we're here, and so that's definitely made it easier. Uh, one follow up on uh, that, if I may. Well, first, I hadn't heard about your marriage, so congratulations on that. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, and, but and also to your point, though, I, like dealing with COVID and and kind of sometimes the loneliness that comes with the COVID restrictions, I know has been tough on a lot of the student athletes at Stanford. Um, what have you seen kind of locker room try to adapt to that knowing that for some guys it's it's just going to hit them a bit harder yeah yeah for sure um i think i think with our our teammates like one thing i love about this team is that there's like it's not there's like no clicks on the team or anything like that um i know for myself especially i, I feel comfortable go, like talking to anyone um of course, I'm, I'm closest with my position group with all the other inside linebackers. But, um, you know, even just with all the any offensive guy, like I just feel like it's everyone just has a, a good relationship with everyone else. And so it's just it's easy to to turn to anyone um, just for for your help or for support or if you just yeah need to talk to someone, anything like that. So, yeah, I feel like I, I love how our team is. We're all real close and just there's a good bond for sure good good camaraderie good stuff thanks Levani. our next question will come from rusty simmons and the san francisco chronicle hey Levani, this is a, a unique situation that you're in that uh, i'm sure you didn't know would happen uh when you signed up to, to go to stanford how, how are you handling this with with your family is it a lot of a lot of face time back home Oh yeah, for sure. A lot of FaceTime um, with my wife every night, and then yeah, with my with my parents, it's like yeah, it's regular. But yeah, a lot a lot of FaceTime, a lot of staying in, in touch with with uh, family and friends and everything. Yeah. And obviously, the the family part is the most important. But this is really odd for football too. The guys have talked about chasing around ducks in a public park, trying to practice and getting kicked out of an open air garage structure. What's the oddest thing you've seen uh, during this unique time? The most odd thing you said? Just everything that you guys are up against here while you try to stay on the road for, for all this time. Anything interesting that you've run into that maybe is out of the ordinary? Hmm, let's see. I guess, I guess just right now, how we we go over to Oregon State's indoor um, every day to practice, like I don't know, it just feels kind of weird because like even tonight we're walking back to our hotel and uh, they're like walking out of the state their stadium building from maybe meetings or whatever, but we're just like, yeah, we just like see the other team and you're just so close with them. And you, I mean, it's so nice of them to let us use their facilities and everything. Um, definitely grateful for that, but it's just, yeah, it's just interesting. Just, yeah, I would, I would probably say that, just using using the other team's facilities. Right on, thanks, Lavani. Thanks, yep. Any other questions for Lavani? All right, thanks for your time, Lavani. Have a good night. No, thank you. Thanks, guys.